Welcome to Come Knit With Me. We are going to play with the garter bar today. And the garter bar being from the Chris Crafter. I have cast on 29 stitches. And I'm going to do the garter stitch for enough rows to make this a square. Now I've already knitted a few rows and I just finished knitting this particular row. Now what I need to do is rotate the work and to do that I set the garter bar onto the needles with latches open and just slide them lift up the garter bar See how you can barely see it at that angle? That's the angle you want to put it into. And I'm pulling from underneath and pulling the work forward. Okay. Now I'm going to lift it up just a little bit. Push the latches all back slowly. Make sure they stay. Now, at this point, we're going to be putting it back on. But see how the how it kind of moves. So what I do is I have this quarter inch um, piece of wood and a busted yardstick. And I put the wood here, which you can just barely see it. And behind it is the yardstick. And that holds it very nicely for me. Now, I hold it at the same angle that I had it before when I went to take them off. And now some people rotate it like this and put it on there, but I usually end up splitting the yarn that way. So I hold it at the 45. It's about a 45 degree angle. Then I just push it on. That way I know I'm not splitting the work, the threads. And then just pull it off in the back. Set that down. Take off your needles. I call them needle stoppers. Because you can you can purchase one from Chris Crafter. They have a very nice one. And then you knit a row. Now I'm using peaches and cream cotton thread, key plate four, now you can line up the, the work, line up the needles, pull them out all at once, and then lay your my yardstick in the back. Remember, 45 degree angle. Now, cotton is a little bit unforgiving. It doesn't bend or stretch very much. At least not while you're working on it. And you'll just continue this. Now, like I said, I'm going to do it square which will probably be about 40 rows, give or take. It's only a dishcloth, so it's not cast in stone. Okay, now you, when you're knitting by hand, you just knit every row. You can knit the row, turn, knit the row, turn. Well, with a knitting machine, you have to knit the row, turn it, 